In this last part of the video, I want to show you how you can get the most of our Tecla highlight maps. Um, this is something new in our products. It's a PSD template. Uh, it's nothing fancy. You can generate your own PSD template very easy by using all the maps we provided in our oldest product. But this is a little bit more organized. So what we have here is uh, different uh, textures in different categories layered so I need to hide a few I want to work with only this portion of the shoe that I already showed you in the beginning and notice what we have here it's a template let's take a look closer what exactly we have a template folder let's hide it we have the shadow map with stitches I can hide and show all the stitches pretty nice we have specular highlight maps provided already with the correct blending mode we have of course shadow maps and here we have a predefined and pre-made texture now I will work with this specific texture because I want to show you how to improve it very easy. This is the back part of the shoe. And what I want to do now is to add a little bit more highlights to make it more contrast. How to do this? First, let's make this layer visible. This is our specular highlight layers. Take a look how it looks. It's just a black and white image with some gradients so I want to make it visible those two now the default blending mode is linear dot which produce this effect let's change it to the additional one called color dot now it looks like this which is pretty cool let's remove this and add it now see a single blending with our highlights created a different most improved version of this already provided map a predefined map we have some small stitches here okay but what else we can do with those maps because they're black and white you can go here to uh, image adjustments levels or curves and make some changes now you can control the white and the white and the black with those sliders see what's happening I'm actually changing the amount of specularity that falls into this making it more pronounced and more blurred let's just for a minute assume that we want something like this it looks very bad but for the sake of this tutorial I will show you what we can do from now I will hide this and this is how my specular highlight looks now after the small tweak now I can go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I can start blurring this again I'm working only on the specular highlight map changing the settings see what's happening I have a full control on how this will look like if I go here I can change this to something like screen to create a completely different look or to linear add again different look I will keep this to color dot now I was able to improve the highlights significantly see that's why we provide you with a very very gentle highlights because we want you to be able to improve them in your own way but what if I want to change only the color of this part of the shoe? How can do this? You can go to the template, make it sure you are on this particular layer, go to this tool here, selection tool, click on the black and all the parts of this template will be selected now we need to invert the selection in order to create not the black selected but the actual 
parts inside the block selector. Okay, now I can hold Alt in PC and start removing selections. See, clicking on the selections with Alt and I'm removing them. Alt click, Alt click. Now I have only those parts that I'm interested to. Now I go here, I'm not removing the selection. Notice this. I'm going here to the black zipper platform part. Right click it, duplicate the layer. Okay. And now on this duplicated layer, I can click again. Remember the selection is on. I can click on this small button here or create the mask layer. Add layer mask. Click. Notice what's happening. Now I can remove the templates from visibility. Nothing changes, but now only the those portions of this particular layer will be visible. So if I go here to image adjustment, actually I need to click. You see, I can click on a on a mask and on the layer. I need to click on the layer, go to image adjustment hue and saturation and I can start changing things let's move backwards so we can see it better and notice hue and saturation and start changing things see I'm changing this only this portion nothing else is affected because it's isolated here and go to the saturation mode Let's make this something like a gold one. Very interesting color. What about color eyes? Nah, I don't like this. And now I can go and make the same layer a little bit of, I don't know, hmm, maybe contrast. Oops. Much more contrast. Uh, see what's happening. If I hide this layer that I just adjusted, look like this, the default. If I start it, make it visible, it looks like this. If I remove the highlights, it looks like this. So let's remove everything. This is the default texture. Now improved texture is looking like this. Well, it's different. It's very different. So you can make a lot of changes. I can even add some stitches on the top of this and I can make them again completely different color for example going to the hue and saturation and making those stitches I don't know more saturated colorize changing stuff like this and it's harder more saturation actually yes more saturation I would they're sort of bluish uh, let's play with lights now we have very weird looking texture but the stitches are here and they're different color now and I was able to affect only the parts that I'm interested to that's pretty much it improve our textures and you will get a very different result more highlights less highlights of course you can change the visibility this is an additional part you can make it much slower change it and then you can upload the test and see what if you like it hope you enjoy this bye bye